Hey guys and gals, this is uh, an emergency run. We've got a lady that's uh, got codes coming up on her vehicle. She's a little worried about it, so we're going to go make a quick 50 bucks and help her out and see if we can uh, get her back on the road. So we hope that you will see some value in this little video, but we're going to be shooting a lot more videos where we just share with you everything we're doing because it's, it's fun to do. But uh, here and there, we're going to take our handy dandy code reader with us and go make it happen, cappin'. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do it yourselfer and simple ways. We are here today on a out of the blue video because we had some great information we thought we'd share with you, but we had an older lady bring her dirty little car in here and say that her check engine light comes on and goes off, comes on and goes off, and we're going to check it for her. And it's a quick 50 bucks, you know, just to give her the ideas on what possibly could be the issue with it. So we're going to use our handy dandy code reader and see what we can find on it for her. But also on the last video I did on the little speaker, I wanted to share that with you. We shared that because we like it a lot. If it's not your bag, that's fine. We're not going to share something with you that we don't absolutely love and or use. So what we're going to do is plug our code reader in, which is, should be right there. And plugged in, put the key in it. So we plugged it in, our code reader's in. We're going to uh, hit OK on the main menu. It's processing. She may have us fix it as well, and we'll see what happens. Alrighty. This is a really good one because it, it's very affordable and it tells you a lot of information. Insufficient coolant temperature for closed loop fuel. So it could be the insufficient coolant or it could be this little rig right here, the temperature for Closed loop fuel. This is a great little reader because anybody can use it. It tells you a lot of information, as I said. So let's check for insufficient coolant and see if that's actually the issue. All right, we're here, and now what we're going to do is check the coolant. This vehicle definitely needs some love. There's no doubt about it. But Not sure if you can see in there, but it's uh, looking like it's low. And the lady is going through a divorce and she was afraid that her husband is possibly sabotaging her vehicle, which is really sad. But it looks like it's quite low. It's way below where it should be. You can see where it was by the rust spot in the back. So we're going to help her out, put some coolant in it for her. And uh, the little code reader did its job and told us exactly what we want. And we'll deal with the other code there and look that up. And if it's an O2 sensor or something like that, we'll deal with that. Mm -hmm. 